Welcome back everybody to another video. My name is Fabio and today I thought we could look at color palettes in Toon Boom Harmony Premium. So I have this character here for a personal project that I'm working on and he just walks and I want to add some color to him. So this is where color palettes come in handy. If we look up to uh, my top right, I have my color window already open. If you don't see this, go up to windows um, and click color and then it should open and then you can drag it wherever you want. So let's leave it there for now. First thing I wanna do is create a new color palette. Go up to where it says palettes, press the plus button, and this little thing pops up. New palette, let's give it a name. We'll do character, because that's what he is. Color type, press okay. So now we have our new palette up here. And now if we come below, this is where our, we can choose our colors. First, I want kind of a darker skin color. So let's rename this to skin. Double click the little color here. And this window pops up. So now I can choose pretty much any color I want for this guy. So let's give him like a nice uh, dark skin tone. It doesn't actually matter because you can change this very easily and I'll show you that later. Uh, yeah, so when you're done this, just close it and now we have our skin color. If we want to fill this in, let's go to paint and we can paint this in. Say I wanted to add some color on the hair, I'll go back up here, new, see how the new color pops up. Let's label it hair. Uh, let's go dark, and there we go. And we can fill in our hair color. I'm gonna jump ahead and fill this guy in with all his colors, and then I'll show you how we can change the colors like that. So we're back, and if we play through this now, yeah, all the frames are colored in. Let's say, that was a project for a client and they wanted you to change his skin color, for example. So like they're like, nice, let's make his skin color blue. At first glance, it would be really hard to do because you'd have to go back in and recolor each frame. But with Toon Boom, you don't have to do that. So let's go up to our colors. If we double click the skin color, because that's the color we use to fill this character in, let's change it to blue. Right, you see how it changed? And now if we play through it, the cool thing is, it changes throughout the entire animation. So, it makes it so easy to experiment with colors because you don't have to worry about losing any time if you want to change it. And if you want to change it back, just press undo and everything goes back to normal. Last thing I want to cover is cloning a color palette. A lot of times on like a show or something, characters will have a daytime color palette and a nighttime color palette because their colors change during those periods of time, right? What you can do to make this way easier so you don't have to recolor each time is cloning. Let's go up to our fighter character's color palette, right click, and press clone. Okay, so let's call this fighter character night, right? These are the colors at night. It appears underneath. So we're on our character night palette. Let's go to our skin color, make it darker, right? The problem is nothing changed. Why didn't it change? Because up here on the palettes, our original palette is above our nighttime one. So if we go to our nighttime, right click, move up, see how dark it got? And it plays through the whole thing. So like at nighttime, maybe he's dark. But if it's daytime, I'll move my original palette up and he is back to his original colors. So that's how you clone something to create a nighttime, daytime palette. And you can really use this for anything, right? Let's say there's a, there's a palette where there's blue light. I can clone this again. We'll just say blue. Right, I'll change the skin color to blue. And then I can move this all the way 
to the top, and now he's blue. So that's all I have, guys, for color palettes right now. I hope you guys learned something, and really, uh, so go out, experiment, have some fun, because that's really what this is all about. So thanks for watching, and I'll see everybody in the next video.